So before we begin, I just want to quickly let you guys know that I'm open for freelance services for a limited period of time. So if there is something that you want me to draw, then hit me up on Fiverr and I will give all the links in the description. So what I'm doing is I am picking up a base color. So I have a quick rough sketch of curly hair and I'm filling it up with the base color. Now once you clean it up, just blend out the edges so they don't look harsh. What you want to do is you want to create alpha lock on the same layer where you fill the hair with the base color and what you want to basically do is with a darker shade of the base color, you want to put those dark shades wherever the hair is kind of bending or there is a fold in the hair as you can see in the video. Now once you're done with the placement of the dark shadows, start blending it out with the blending tool and make sure the size is not too big because we do want to create hair like strokes while we are blending. And also if you don't know how to blend colors in Procreate, I have a tutorial on that as well so check that out. So now what I'm doing is I'm creating a new layer and I'm creating clipping mask and I'm gonna create new shadows and add new dark shadows over the ones we initially added and the reason why I'm doing this in a new layer is because I don't want to mess up the, the shadows that we initially put in as we are going to be blending the shadows out. So this time I'm mainly focusing on the base, base as in where the hair is kind of folding. Now just blend it all out as we did previously. Once you are happy with the shadows, just take a lighter color of the base color 
and then just put it on the highest points of the hair like I'm doing in the video. Now just blend it all out with a smaller sized blending brush and I'm using soft brush by the way. Here I'm adding a bit more of the lighter color. Now I'm going back in with the black color and picking up the shadows layer and adding more depth to the hair. Once you are happy with all of the shadow and highlighting part, just create a new layer and create clipping mask. Choose light pen from luminous brush set and choose white color and decrease the size of the brush and start making hair like strokes. Now this layer should be above all of the layers we created initially. Now once you are happy with that, just create a new layer. Now we are going to add highlights. So for that I am using light pen and I am using white color again and just make sure to increase the size of the brush just a little bit and just put those highlights roughly over the hair and then just pick up the blending tool and blend that out.
Now what you want to do is you want to blend out the harsh edges that the hair strand has. So there is not a complete hairstyle that that is a hair strand. So what you want to do is you want to create a new layer, but the layer should be at the bottom of all of the layers. And now just pick up soft airbrush and decrease the size of it and just start making hair like strokes just to blend out the edges now i don't know how much visible it is on the screen but if you have watched my previous video on how to draw realistic hair then you know what i'm talking about Just to finish up, I'm adding more highlights to it and for that I am using new layer so that I do not mess up anything. So that's it basically and it was so easy anyone can draw this i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel right now so that you don't miss out on any cool content and i will see you guys the next time